the name of Jesus. Our first two, trip to Kentucky was a real eye opener of the tremendous need in so many areas that's needed in the Appalachian Mountain areas. I'm going to tell you one story about a little girl, and I'm going to change her name, and I'm going to call her Heidi. And Heidi is nine years old, and she's just as cute as she can be. And she had fun all week in our vacation Bible school. Well, at the end of the week, all the children got a box of food. We wanted to make sure that we sent them home with a case of food that was probably um, like a 14 by 8 size case of food. And my husband was the van driver, along with the local minister there. And they took little Heidi home. And all the way there, Heidi was scared, like some kids are. And if you have ever worked with kids, you know that when some kids are feeling nervous or excited, they start to talk a lot. And you can find out a whole lot about them because they're so nervous that they just can't stop talking. Well, this was Heidi's situation. Heidi just talked and talked and talked. And before we got, well, before my husband got to Heidi's house, he had found out that she was really embarrassed of her home. That, um, that it wasn't a very nice home, at least not from the outside, as one would see. She was really embarrassed because she had an outhouse. And yes, I said an outhouse. Um, and she was poor. And so she was just really, really embarrassed for Mr. Jerry to see where she lived. My husband and the local minister get to Heidi's house. And he sees a wood particle square house. Small house. I happened to take Heidi home one day from the vacation Bible school. So I got to see where she lived. Um, but it was just, there was no paint. It was regular particle board um, that you would see maybe in an attic or something in somebody's house. And I didn't get to go inside, but my husband did. But let me back up just a minute. Before they get there, Heidi finds out that there are two boxes of food left. And she knows everybody else that was on the van got one. And so she was not going to take two because it would not be right. And she, you know, there's a sense of pride there. And our and my husband, being who he is, he says, no, there's two boxes, and we are not taking any back with us, and you will have them. And that ended the conversation. But she was really embarrassed because she didn't want to because it's, nobody else got two. She, uh, she only wanted one because everybody else got one. So my husband and the local minister took the boxes of food into the house. And they were waiting around because the mom was supposed to be home, and she wasn't there. And Heidi's really embarrassed because she knows where her mom is. And so she finally says where she assumes her mother is, which is in the outhouse. Her mom had to go to the bathroom. It's a natural thing. We have to go to the bathroom. But she was embarrassed because it was outside in a little bitty built room. And so the mom finally comes back in, and the minister and Mr. Jerry talk to her for a little while. Well, Heidi, while they're talking, is like any other child, curious. She wants to know what's in those boxes and she just can't wait to see and so while they're there she opens up one of the boxes and my husband said it was as if it was her birthday and Christmas because right on top she saw something that she normally doesn't get and she squealed with delight and grabbed what was in the box out of it hugged it to her chest very excited and she screamed cereal I love cereal we never have cereal. And my husband said it was all he could do not to break down crying in the home. That a child in America could be that excited over a box of cereal because the need is so great. It took him about two days to get out the whole account of what took place in the house because it so overwhelmed him that a child here in America that we spent a week with playing games and doing crafts and singing songs was so excited like it was her birthday and Christmas rolled into one over a box of cereal. 